Today we'll look at how WebSource CPQ can be used by your salespeople and channels to sell software. The configuration will show how different parameters can calculate license, maintenance, or subscription pricing. In our demo catalog, we're going to jump to the software category and configure the software product. Selections available to the user are shown as an example setup and can include more or less selections as required. This example has been set up with three types of sales, license, subscription, and trial. You'll notice that as I select the type of sale, the options available to me change. Using configuration rules ensures that the user is always presented with relevant options based on previous selections. Additional modules are also being presented to the user. The modules selected are shown separately in the configuration. When the type of sale is license, we select the number of users and any additional maintenance. Number of users in this example is shown as ranges and the price is calculated appropriately. Maintenance is automatically included in the quote for the user. Additional maintenance can also be selected. Here it is being presented as an upsell since you can receive a 15% discount if purchased with the license. When the type of sale is subscription, the user is presented with different options. Now they are required to select the amount of disk space they would like to utilize, along with the length of subscription. Notice that the monthly subscription is calculated and displayed for the user. For this example, the calculated price is based on disk size and number of users. Of course, the calculated price can be as complex or as simple as needed. This example also allows you to price a trial. Since trial is treated as a subscription here, disk size and number of users is presented. Only a six month subscription length is allowed, along with limited disk space and users. Once I have finished my selections, I see the total price in my configuration, then I'll add it to my quote. In the quote, we see our configuration with its price and description, which gives us detail on what the subscription term is. Additionally, the modules I selected are shown separately where they can be discounted independently if the user is allowed. If the sales rep would like to offer one of the items as an option to the customer, they can tick off optional, then click calculate. This displays the item at the bottom of the page and subtracts its price from the quote total. This item can then be presented separately as an option to the customer facing document. Unticking it puts it back into the quote. From here, the user can generate a proposal. For more information on proposals, you can watch our proposal demo found under the functional demo section. Today we've shown how to use WebSource CPQ to sell software. Feel free to contact us at sales at webcomic.com. Thank you.